off the top tonight, though, CBS 11 News with new exclusive video that even police have not seen as of yet of major vandalism and a big spree that went on in Farmersville. If you're not familiar, Farmersville, northeastern Collin County, about 35 miles or so northeast of Dallas. As J.D. Miles tells us tonight, police have identified two teenagers for their involvement in a very costly spray painting spree. J.D. Doug, you probably heard the expression, paint the town red. Some young people here in Farmersville took that to a criminal extreme with examples like this all over the city. Two young people can be seen from various angles on security cameras running near the Farmersville Grain and Hardware store last night. It's right around the time police say a silo and a wall were spray painted with profanities and gang signs. But I didn't realize I'd gotten hit as bad as I did until uh, the officer came in today. Owner Pete Campbell and his wife found the images on their security cameras tonight and plan to forward them to police. Kind of defies comprehension on why you would want to damage other people's property. Police Chief Michael Sullivan says his department has identified two boys, 14 and 16, who are suspected of vandalizing the city's athletic complex and several buildings throughout downtown with spray paint. The chief says the scope of the damage goes beyond a prank, calling it an attack on his city. And for somebody to do this to the community, yeah, it made me angry. It's not good for us. It's not good for our city. Uh, it's not good for our youth here. We've got a lot of good youth. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it tarnishes that. Victims like the Campbells will probably have to use their own time and money to remove the graffiti from their business. A couple that moved to this rural Collin County town 15 years ago to escape problems like this. It was certainly disturbing. Uh, you know, here in Farmersville, we don't, uh, we don't worry too much about things like that. Now, the police chief will have to determine if the subjects in that video we saw are related to this case. He has notified the parents of the suspected teens but has not yet made an arrest because this damage is expected to exceed $2,500. They could be charged with a felony. Live in Farmersville, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thanks.